This key issue, DC Comic, has a really cool and interesting story about it. If you want to know what that is, stick around, and you'll not only find out what the comic is, but a little pleasant, happy ending to this story. We need those. Stick around. Go, go subscribe to We Love Comics. We love, and we do, we love comics. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, my ladies and gentlemen of the comic book community. My name is Chris, and this is my channel. We love comics, and I absolutely love comics and uh, so proud to show this book. And like I said in the beginning, I had a little story about this that has a really kind of happy situation to it, and maybe it'll, it'll influence people and the way they um, talk to and deal with eBay sellers. Now, this was a book that is the second appearance of one character and the first appearance of another all in the same book. So I wonder if anybody might be able to predict what that book is. So if you want, you could leave that in the comments section. But this book was listed. It was from Canada. And they had it listed at a buy it now for $1,295 Canadian, which is, depending on the day, roughly about $970 US dollars. All right, you guys probably haven't seen one of the cats in a while. There is Oregon, so he wants to be a part of this. So they did have a best offer. So I just want to make sure. Okay, so they protected this really well. So they had a best offer. So I made a best offer of $850 Canadian. So a significant drop, but I figure, you know what? Take the chance. They can either say yes, they could say no, even if they're insulted or something. I never understand when people get insulted because, I mean, who doesn't want to try and buy something for, you know, cheaper than what something's listed for? I mean, nobody goes to buy a car and says, oh, the sticker price is $25,000. i will pay that. People are always looking for good deals, so I don't know why some get insulted. Luckily, most don't. But this person, I sent them the offer to 850 Canadian, and they said, well, they couldn't do it. So most people, they would have probably just left it at that. What I did was I emailed the person and said, well, thank you anyway for your quick response. I appreciate the fact that um, you were kind about my response and saying how, you know, many people take offense, so they give an attitude. So I thanked him for the at least the kind response. And I said, you know, if it ends up not selling, my offer will still stand. So um, I think a day went by and they responded. And they say, thank you for that. I appreciate that. And if that doesn't happen, if, if nothing sells, I'll consider it. Have a nice day. So I could have easily just left it there. So I responded again, complimenting them, saying, you know, it's very rare that people are very kind and I want to thank you for that. Um, even though it was a little bit more than what I could afford, um, I appreciate the fact that you were respectful, you were quick to message people. And I said, you know, that's refreshing because a lot of people uh, um, that sell on eBay tend to have attitudes and they're not as nice. So thank you for being one of the good ones. I wish you luck and I hope it sells really high for you. And then all of a sudden I get a message I didn't expect. They replied the next day or later on that day, I don't remember, and said, you know what? You're right. There aren't a lot of nice people in the world. And he said, since you were so kind in your responses, I'm going to sell it to you for the $850 Canadian and free shipping from Canada to your house, priority mail. I was blown away by this. I want people to know that I understand if people give attitudes or you don't get what you want or you don't like what somebody has or the way they act or blah, blah, blah. I know it's very easy to be nasty and defensive. I've done that myself in the past. Like people would leave really immature and nasty comments. And sometimes, you know, the Italian in me, the New Yorker in me, the Sicilian in me, you know, the Scorpio in me would want to retaliate and say something back. But it never brings anything good. So especially very recently, I'm trying to do different things in my life, trying to improve things. And it's a process. It doesn't work overnight. 
but I wanted to try and do things better. So I decided, you know, what? I'm going to start being a little bit nicer. And because of that, the person appreciated it so much that they were willing to sell a comic for much cheaper than what they were trying to sell it for. Give me free shipping. And to show how much it cost them, they gave me free shipping. Right here, the Canadian Post, $42.29 it cost this amazing human being to send this book so I didn't have to wait two to three weeks to get it. So, I want to thank this person. And um, I don't know the name of the seller offhand, but um, when this video uploads, um, I will make sure, once it's processed, in the comments section, I will place the um, name of the YouTube, not YouTube, the eBay seller's name. And I highly recommend going to uh, check out his channel and maybe buy something. So being nice gets you better rewards. Now, I wasn't expecting that to happen. I wasn't doing it to, you know, try and say, oh, well, maybe they'll do it. I just said, you know what? Thank you anyway. I appreciate your quick responses. I understand. I wish you well. And uh, my offer will stand if it doesn't happen. I wasn't trying to do it and say, hey, maybe if I'm nice, they'll give me a free book or something. No, it pays to be nice. And I'm going to try and do that more and more. And I hope that helps other people as well. Because like, um, if you saw the video I did a little while back, not too far ago, but maybe a week, week and a half ago, about the um, the book that got, you know, that box that literally looked like an elephant sat down on it. You know, I could have been upset that they put bendable cardboard in there and it bent the comic a little bit. I could have ranted and raved. No, I decided to be nice and considerate. They actually thanked me for it. So I know it's easy to yell these days. I know it's easy to get nasty. I mean, I get comments from people all the time with accusations and nasty things. It doesn't... It, no one is ever going to say something nasty or defend... You know, something that I have to be defensive about. And I'm going to say, oh, you know what? You're right. It causes people to have to have a little shield up. So the nicer you are, the better you might be treated... And sometimes, you know, you get what you give. So with that being said, I know you guys have been waiting patiently, so thank you for that. And before I turn this over, don't forget to uh, wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. Uh, don't forget I'm also selling some of my uh, duplicates of my comic books, anywhere from um, a bronze package up to a platinum package. Um, the description of everything is at the bottom of every description of the videos. Please check those out. If you're interested, contact me. There will be an email address. And uh, hit the like button if you appreciate these kind of videos. So here is the book. I've always wanted this one. This is not the first appearance of Barry Allen, the uh, first Silver Age Flash. But this is the next best thing. This is showcase number eight, which is the second appearance of the Silver Age Flash, but the first appearance of Captain Cold. So this book, it has a little bit of a split right here. It's got a little chunk missing on the cover there. You can see there's a lot of stress lines. So this is probably about a 1.8 to a 2.0. Um, the cover is detached. So the absolute highest grade it could be is a 3.0 with a detached cover. But um, from what they showed, they had a lot of pictures in it. Um, I am very happy with this book. So when you convert $850 Canadian to U.S., it comes out to roughly... About $634.09 that I paid for this book. They had this listed at $1295, which, like I said, is approximately about $970 US dollars. So the guy took off almost $400. Well, roughly about $300 and change. About $346 something dollars, something around there. But a good chunk of it, just because I was very gracious and appreciative of his response, not being nasty or saying, oh, you know, you take offense and everything. So it does pay to be nice. Now, obviously, you have to be genuine. Like I said, I wasn't doing it to expect anything back. But it was amazing that this person did that. And I want to personally thank them. So like I said, when this video processes, so if you're watching it early, like just as I, you know, had it put up on YouTube... It may not process right away, so you might not see it in the comment section yet. But if you didn't see it yet, go back later on, look in the comment section, and I will put a link to the person's 
um, eBay auction site, give them a chance. You know, purchase something from them. Tell them that um, that I sent you. And uh, I thanked him for the ability of being so kind. So that was probably one of the best experiences I've had on eBay as far as a, a person that knows customer service and was very friendly. Uh, they did a pretty darn good job with the shipping. The book arrived just as advertised. You know, like I said, I would love 9.8s, but there's, as of now, I didn't have the finances to afford a 9.8 of this book. So if I can only get a 1.8 to a 2.0 to a 2.5 of this book, you know what? I'll be very happy with it because, as I always say, low grade is better than no grade. So if I was one of those people that always had to have the top highest books and uh, they had to be pristine, I would not own a majority of my books. So what good is that? But there really is no wrong way to collect. Whatever makes somebody happy is the right way. So hopefully you guys appreciated this. I always know when I see the thumbs up. So if any of you can take the time to hit that thumbs up button, it means a lot to me. It helps my channel. Uh, if you want to share it, that helps even more. If you want to subscribe, that is awesome. We would love to have you as part of this channel. Wait until the end. Put in the comment section a little shout out for yourself of who's today's surprise subscriber shout out is. If you want one, just hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, don't forget about the cash back program. Again, that's in the link in the description. And um, don't forget, it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I will see you next video. And like this comic says, this video is all done in a flash. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to connect with me on Facebook, just click right here. If you want to join our cashback program and get $10 off your first purchase of $25 or more, click here. And then if you aren't subscribed, we'd love you to join by clicking here.